So here we are in Capture NXD with four Barn Owl photographs. Now I have a, a number of adjustments that I use just for birds and so the first thing I'd normally do is pick all the birds and go into load adjustments pick the bird adjustments and as you'll see Capture NXD will start applying those adjustments to each image that saves me loads of time we'll just undo that and I'll show you how I created my basic adjustments so pick one photograph to edit and we'll go into picture control now I change this to latest picture controls because get slightly more options that I would get normally with the D500 and we select the picture control of standard which is already set in the camera now I do a sharpening and the unsharp mask so the first thing I do is reduce these to minus a half I bump the contrast up a bit the saturation and then we go to noise reduction make sure better quality 2013 is set and 50s across the board are a good starting point I don't set edge noise reduction in the basic settings I might leave that to later then we go into camera corrections and we'll turn on a little bit of noir reduction and some axial co collaboration on and vignette control there may be other ones depending on the lens that you use the last thing I do here is I shall go in and do my own shot mask and my basic starting point is 40, 12 and 10 for the threshold So they're my basic settings. I can now go and save all the adjustments or the, just the updated ones. We'll save them all and we'll just save them in a file called test. So now that's done. When we're picking all of the, when we want to make the same adjustment to all images, to so say we can now pick them all and do load adjustments, saving us a lot of time. Anyway, we'll go back to continue to edit this bar now. So the first problem that I notice is it's way underexposed. It wasn't a bright sky, it was not far from sunset. The background is water and it's a lot brighter in the bar now and um, it's underexposed. So let's bump the exposure up quite a lot. Making sure that we don't move any of this histogram off the right hand side because we would get blown highlights. So that's nearer where I want to be. The other side of the bar now may be slightly too dark so we can go into tone detail and just do a little bit of shadow recovery. If we had a few places on the image that was blown out we could use highlight protection but that's not the case here. next thing we're going to do is crop the image or maybe straighten it 
obviously you could straighten it I don't think it needs straightening crop the image we can use 4 by 3 landscape crop and position the bird slightly to the right so it's got something to fly into and then I notice there's a, a very slight smear here that is probably on my sensor and so what we can do is we can use the retouch brush to just remove that smear now if the face of the bird was still a bit too dark you can use a color control point position it on the bird set the area you want to affect you can show the affected area and you could increase the brightness which I'll increase deliberately a lot I don't actually want to do that I'm just demonstrating we'll leave it at that and now we can go to the curves sometimes I might adjust uh, if there's I might pull the blacks in a bit or even the whites because the histogram didn't fill the entire graph and now we'll go to convert files JPEG excellent quality embed color profile save this file out in the same folder as the original and because I've done this before Capture NXT's remembered I want to add underscore copy to the end so I don't overwrite the original and we'll export the file now that can take a while so we'll stop there